how to sell digital products using Hostinger website builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add digital products and start selling them on your Hostinger website. So the process is going to be very simple and very easy. You're going to head over Hostinger.com, sign in for an account within the platform. And from here, you're going basically to see this specific dashboard or it is going to called, uh, be called a channel. So from here, you're going to click on the websites on the left side of the screen, click right there and select websites list. And now we are going to be able to see the websites that you host on your domain or your account. So as you can see, I have two. One we have with a certified domain and the other one is going to be with a temporary domain. So make sure that you have at least added the uh, domain into your account. So with that, you're going basically to have more options available. So as you can see for this one, we have the option to manage the store. I'm going to click on it and then we're going to get the dashboard of the store. Basically, we can go ahead and add the products from here or manage all the store products from here. Or you can go ahead and click on edit website and you're going to see your real time website. And from here, you can go ahead and click on manage store from here. So you're going to get the minimized version of this. Now I'm going to be back in here. So we are going to basically here see the overview and also the steps that we need to accomplish to set up or complete the uh, beginner uh, setup or guide. As you can see, we're setting up the uh, company info, the shipping rates or the shipping the reviews, uh, setting up the payment methods and also adding the first products. So let's say that you do not have this specific area in here or this specific window. How we can see the products? Basically, it is going to be very easy. You're going to head over the left side of the screen, locate your products in here. You're going to see them here and then you're going to see the different products that we have. Basically, we have this specific area, which is going to be this uh, particular, um, let's say, uh, product library. So basically, we are going to head over add a product or import product. If you are going to have a CSV file or an XLSX file, add it in here. And you can also download the CSV file example on how we can add a physical products. But you are going to add a, a digital product, so we are going to click on add products. Now you are going to see the types of products that you can add. We have physical products, digital product, appointment, gift card, donation, service, and multiple physical products. So basically, you are going to select from here digital product. Click on here and then you're going to see the different options that we are going to put the product. So you can upload the image in here, select the visibility of the product and also you can upload and generate product details with the AI. Basically, you are going to upload an image for this case and then it is going to generate an image within or not the image, but it is going to generate some uh, details about the image. You can start by adding here the title of your product. For example, we are going to type in ebook just as an example. You can add a subtitle for that product title and also you can add a rebound. For example, new release. Like that. You're going to have here a description and also you can have here an AI writer. So for pricing, you're going to put here the amount of the product or the pricing type if it is going to be an amount or it is going to be free, the price, discounted price, and an SKU code. You can also track the quantity of that product. And here, like the additional information, you can add uh, something else about your product or, or the store policies. So for the custom field, you can add a custom field for example, if you are going to put this uh, product customizable for the categories, you can add uh, some uh, categories into your store by clicking on a categories page right there and then start adding some categories. Now for the uh, product itself or digital product, we have two options to upload it, either upload it in here 
which will have a maximum file size of 100 megabytes or if it is going to be exceeding that specific uh, size you're going to add it into a link like a google drive link or a um, upload or a platform for uploading files in here basically that was pretty much everything for the adding uh, the digital product i'm going to start setting up the things in here and we're going to get i cover from canva so i'm going to give you an example this is just an example in here so let's see that i'm going to put a design for example i'm going to have this design I think that it is going to be set up here let's see if it is going to be the same thing so i'm going to have this it doesn't matter so i'm going to download it again i'm going to have this as downloaded now what can i do also is to have the file downloaded as a a pdf basically if you are going to put a pdf file or a pdf standard that you that means that you're going to have it as a ebook or a digital book now i'm going to head over hostinger i'm going to upload an image real quick so here we have our image which is going to be uploading now we can add another subtitle of that to a specific title so i'm going to add here ebook of paris based that's an example boom and then we can go ahead and start writing up here the description of this specific ebook you can go ahead and set up the format of the headings as you can see we have h2 h3 we can make the text bold we can insert a youtube video we can insert some uh, table like chart tables internal images and links and etc this is going to be a full um, description or full uh, tools of descriptions now for the price i'm going to put for example this and the discounted price is going to be just like that for the sku code i'm going to put it as a random number and uh, i'm going to track not track the quantity but as, because it is going to be a digital product now for the custom field i'm not going to add a custom field digital product i'm going to upload my own and add it just like this so you're going to have your product in here so the download link will be available within the 24 hours i'm going to let it as this so the customers will receive an email with a link to download the digital product and the link is going to be available for 24 hour or 48 hours air depending on the uh, exclusivity of the content so you are going to wait for it and you are going to have everything set up click on save when you finish and boom this is pretty much it on how we can add a digital product now if you are going to be in this specific area which is going to be the website or the hosting your website builder the process is going to be very easy so you are going to head over the manage tool from here click and you are going to see the products and you can go ahead and add a product in here so it is going to be the similar process so basically you are going to have the uh, specific product in here as you can see this is the product that we have added you can go ahead and click on add product see the type of products that we've saw before start adding it and putting the information just like that and here we have it basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.